Retrograde cricopharyngeal dysfunction is a very debilitating and distressing disorder. It's a disorder that usually starts from birth. Patients have symptoms for as long as they can remember, and they've just dealt with them because they've been to many, many different doctors, they've undergone many different treatments, many different tests, and all of them were unhelpful. Fortunately, in 2019, Dr. Bastian described this disorder in detail, and it's actually a relatively straightforward disorder to diagnose based really on your symptoms. So essentially, if you're feeling that you can not burp and have never really been able to burp, that's a primary symptom. And so is gurgling sounds that come out of your throat spontaneously. Very often it becomes socially awkward. Uh, you can have stomach bloating and discomfort or chest pressure and pain that often gets worse throughout the day and lots of flatulence. And if you have those four things, it's a very, very good chance that you've been suffering from retrograde cricopharyngeal dysfunction. And what's great is that now we have a wonderful treatment for that that can make you all better. The typical treatment for this disorder is botulinum toxin or Botox injection of the cricopharyngeus. So after a patient comes to my office, and we've been seeing a lot of these patients over the last couple of years, uh, we take them to the operating room, we put you to sleep, the procedure takes about 20 or 30 minutes, and then in a minimally invasive technique going through the mouth, we access the muscle, which is approximately here at the top of the esophagus, and then inject it in three places with botulinum toxin. After the injection, there won't be much of a change for two to three days. And then after that time period, as the Botox starts to kick in, you'll start to notice an improvement, easy belching, the pressure's disappearing, the gurgling's disappearing, and in about a week, you're gonna feel much, much better. Of all the patients who've had this done, the success rate is over 99%. At six months, 80% of those patients still feel like they are back to normal and have had no recurrence of the, the uh, symptoms of the disorder. In the patients that do recur, typically we'll take them back to the operating room and Botox them again. Again, most of those patients will only need that extra Botox injection and then have permanent recovery. There's a very small percentage of patients uh, who we will actually, if they need a third treatment, we'll take them to the operating room in that cricopharyngeus. We'll do an endoscopic, again, through the mouth, cricopharyngeal myotomy, where we permanently cut the muscle part of the way to weaken it to allow you to burp, and that will be your permanent cure for the disorder. So essentially the prognosis of the disease, once we've diagnosed it, if you have those four symptoms, is excellent. And from my point of view, it's actually one of the things I really love to care for because people have been struggling their entire lives um, and have not been able to get a diagnosis. Now that we know what this disorder is, you come in, we diagnose you, you treat the patient, and they are so happy and uh, uh, relieved to feel better that for me as a physician, it's really satisfying. So if you have any questions, uh, let us know.